Those benefiting from insecurity are the unknown gunmen. They are found all over Nigeria. You think that um, there is unknown gunmen. The unknown gunmen is the, is the person you know. Uh, the, if, for instance, there was no CCTV recording at Chief Sunday Boho's house, do you know that they would have claimed that it was unknown gunmen that came into his house? Yeah. Don't forget that before that time, there have been attempts to Chief Sunday Boho's house. There have been several attempts. One of it being that he was on his way eh, going to Lagos when he was apprehended. Remember the army, they denied that they were not the one. They don't know what happened. He was also in his house again where some people also came trying to, you know, apprehend him. And they caught some Nigerian army, which Nigerian army released statement then saying that he should. Then they came to a video. They came to a video. They said, no, people were fighting. Can you remember that story? Yes. All the unknown gunmen going on eh, has been exposed. They are the ones benefiting from the insecurity problem currently ongoing in the country. I don't know what kind of country we are in, but seriously and truly speaking, the government and the unknown gunmen, they know themselves. They know themselves. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Those benefiting from insecurity are unknown gunmen. They are all found, they are found all over Nigeria. Comrade Deji Adeyoju has claimed that those benefiting from the insecurity in Nigeria are the unknown gunmen. They are present all over the country. They have turned insecurity into a business. Many people are dead and several properties have been lost due to the high rate of insecurity in the country as many places have been attacked by groups of unknown gunmen. This situation is not limited to a specific region today. In the country, there have been reports of attack in almost every region, and most of those these unknown gunmen are yet to be apprehended. Most of the time, the unknown gunmen kidnap people for ransom. Nigerian security operatives are trying to prevent many of these unknown gunmen from attacking people and kidnapping them them unfortunately reports of new attacks are heard almost in daily basis deji adeoju a human rights activist and the conveyor of consigned nigerian group cng has however claimed in his facebook page that the people who are benefiting from the insecurity are the unknown gunmen they are found in the north east south and west and all over the country he noted that those responsible are in government are in different position they are the layman everywhere we all know the unknown gunmen the unknown gunmen are all around us these are the very people who have turned insecurity into a business that's why the government cannot put it to an end because everybody knows exactly what is happening and people are pretending as if they have no clue very true mr deji you have not lied at all. You have said, you have said the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The unknown gunmen are all around us. Oh, yes, very much all around us. Those who continue to tell us about the unknown gunmen know who they are. Oh, yes, they know who they are. You know, so when you look at the country, you understand truly, really, that there is serious call for everybody to speak out. These unknown gunmen we are talking, they are not spirits now. They are human beings, yeah. They are human beings. They live among us. The people know them. They know the people. And these are the people committing the atrocities. Everybody knows the unknown gunmen. Ah, if what happened, you know, if what happened in Sunday Boho's house, there was no recording, we won't have heard. We won't have been able to see, you all know, anything, you know, all that happened. All that happened, nobody would have known at all. It is because it was recorded, you know, they came and they started shooting sporadically for two hours. Nigeria, you need to hear the full gist. For about two hours, they just kept on going on, shooting indiscriminately. And at the end of the day, when they know that people have died due to their shooting and all that, what did they do? They quickly came up to say uh, they were being shot at back. It was a gun battle. You know, quickly put defense on, a defense uh, a position to say we are defending ourselves. And we went there. Have you invited this man formally? Was there any formal invitation? You invited him and he did not come? Did you invite him? Was there any formal invitation to say, come, 
you are wanted. Come and get, you know, uh, we, we, need, we need to ask you some questions. And he did not show up. There was never no such thing. And these people continue to commit atrocities all around the country, all around the nation. And nobody is saying anything. Everybody is quiet. Oh, everybody is very gentle at the moment. Nobody wants to say anything. Everybody is uh, quiet with regards to all that is happening. You see, this is why in Nigeria today, we must say the truth. Everybody must rise up and defend the cause of what we think is our democracy, if there's anything like that. Because the evil that is currently going on is a clear indication that they want to, they want to you know, oppress the people, overtake them, and continue evil to happen. Whatever we, ha whatever we are experiencing and having now is a clear indication that there are some people who have an, ag an agenda and wants to ensure that things, you know, things are not the way they should be. Have you not thought about it? Why is the government saying nothing about the insecurity situation? Why? Just why? Why is the government saying nothing? Look at Buhari's daughter. Edward's son, getting married, the daughters are married, they went to school, have good education from some of the best universities in the world, in the UK, paid pounds to give them the best of education. Thank God for them, for the opportunity. What about the layman's child who has no other option than to school in Nigeria? What happens to that man's child? But the other person's child, you said he should die. And everybody is quiet, encouraging this evil to, this evil to go on. If we don't rise up and defend us, they are ready to, to, to do whatever they want to do. So every one of us have got to speak out. Yes, you and I, every one of us have got to speak out. Every one of us must not allow this evil to continue to happen. No way. We can't allow it to happen. Because if we keep quiet, they are going to continue to harass and ensure that Nigerians are pushed to the wall, you know. So we've got a duty here, and that is to speak out. Yeah, we need to speak out, you know. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you do have a voice. Let it count. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.